Hi friends, today I am going to talk about the second identity that appears in the second chapter of Ramanujan's first notebook. The identity states that natural log of 2 is equal to 1 plus 2 upon 2 cube minus 2 plus 2 upon 4 cube minus 4 plus 2 upon 6 cube minus 6 ad infinitum. Now this can be rewritten as natural log of 2 is equal to half plus plus 1 upon 6 q minus 6 so on ad infinitum right now this expression over here we had already seen our in our previous video upon the upon uh, on Ramanujan's first identity of second chapter of first notebook that this expression over here is equal to sum of k equal to 1 to n of 1 upon n plus k right so I can replace this by this particular expression over here. So this becomes 2 natural log of 2 is equal to 2 limit as n approaches infinity of k equal to 1 to n of 1 upon n plus k. Now I have a term in the sum which is dependent upon the index and the limiting variable. So I can always regard this as a Riemann sum, right? And further convert that Riemann sum into a, a definite integral of some particular function fx defined upon over an interval a, b, where a and b are nothing but some real numbers, right? So this particular expression over here can be rewritten as 2. k equals to 1 of 1 plus k dot 1 upon n dot 1 upon n. Now my aim over here is to find this interval a, b and the fun corresponding function fx. Right? Now recall the definition that are def some of the definitions that are related to the Riemann sum. I can put 1 upon n as delta x over in this and then I will get if I put uh, delta x equals to 1 upon n now by definition i have minus b minus a upon n is equal to 1 upon n so my length of the interval is equal to 1 i mean i have b minus a which is equal to 1 right and also my kth term is equal to 1 plus k dot 1 upon n which is equal to 1 plus k dot delta x in other words so this implies my a is equal to 1. Now I have a length of the interval b minus a as 1. I have a as 1. This implies my b is equal to 2, right? So I have the upper and lower bounds of the interval now b as equal to 2, a equals to 1. My function fx is nothing but My function fx is nothing but 1 upon x, right? So I can convert that Riemann sum into a definite integral ab fx dx equals to 1 to 2 of 1 upon x dx, which is equal to natural log of 2 minus natural log of 1, right? In fact, uh, we have 2 over here as well, right? So this gives me 2 into natural log of 2 minus natural log of 1, which is equal to 2 natural log of 2, right? So this is one of the proofs of Ramanujan's second identity that appears in the second chapter of first notebook, right? Now Ramanujan gives another very elementary proof of this identity, which he derives from the results that we had arrived at while proving the first identity of Ramanujan's first notebook, second chapter. So this particular, while proving this identity, we had arrived at this particular result, k equals to 1 to n of 1 upon 2 and minus 1, 
minus k equals to 1 to n of 1 upon 2n. Now if I replace the terms, this gives me 1 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 5 plus 1 upon 7 and so on minus half plus 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 6 and so on. On evaluating it further, this gives me 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 5 minus 1 upon 6 plus 1 upon 7 and so on. And if you look at it, this is nothing but the expansion series of natural log of 2, right? So this is the second a very elementary proof that is given by Ramanujan for this arriving at this particular result. Now there is a third proof as well which I won't discuss over here but I will leave it on to you guys to arrive at. I'll just give a hint and that is basically we can use the standard result that the limiting of a of the difference of a harmonic series and its particular logarithm is nothing but a constant which is gamma and often donated by gamma and it is nothing but Euler Mascaroni's constant okay now you can replace you can use this particular result in this particular expression over here this particular expression we had arrived at while proving this identity right and in fact this is the first identity of Ramanujan's second chapter of first notebook right so while proving this identity we had further arrived at these two results right intermediate results so I can plug in this particular constant in this particular expression and then arrive at this result uh, I hope you will be able to do it on your own I've just given you a hint, just try it out. If any difficulty, just leave the comments and probably I'll do a video on this as well.